partner reverses, what next? Lemon sole. A reverse can be very useful. It tells your partner you've got 16 points or more and it's a forcing bid. Your partner can't pass, which can be very comforting when you've got a big hand. But one of the downsides of a reverse is that it takes the bidding quite high and it can be tricky to stop the bidding below game if it turns out that you and your partner don't have enough for game. You don't want to get too big for your boots. To prevent this happening, it's worth having a few agreements in place. If your partner reverses, you know you can't pass. If you're weak, with fewer than 8 points, you need to let your partner know that. You don't want them getting all excited and bidding game if they only have 16 points. So, when you are weak, there are two things that you might do if your partner reverses. The first is you might be able to repeat your long suit at the two level. Preferably, this long suit would have six cards in it. By repeating your long suit at the two level, it says, I'm weak partner and I have this long suit. Now your partner can pass if he or she wants to. This is the kind of bidding sequence you would see. A club, a spade, two hearts, two spades. And that two spade bid is not forcing. The auction can stop here. Here's the bidding in action. In this auction, the bidding can stop in two spades, even though there's been a reverse, and two spades is going to be a good place to land. Often, however, you'll be weak and you won't be able to show a long suit at the two level. This is where the lemon sole bid comes in. With all those other hands with fewer than eight points, you bid two no trumps. This two no trump bid says nothing about no trumps. It is not suggesting a place to play, it is simply asking your partner to bid three clubs with anything other than a monster hand. By a monster hand, I mean 19 points or more. This two no trump bid is a lemon soul two no trump bid. When your partner then bids three clubs, it's up to you what to do next. You can pass the three clubs if that's a good option for you, or you can show suit preference for one of your partner's suits. The reason this works so well is because your partner will know not to get too excited, and you can safely end up playing in a part score. You'll probably be thinking now, what if we do have enough for game? How do I show that sort of hand? Well, you show those stronger hands by not bidding the two no trumps Levin Sol. If you agree to play Levin Sol, then by now making a bid at the three level, you're showing a positive response. A hand with eight or more points. And both of you know that you can keep bidding now until you reach game. Here are two examples. Here West opens a diamond, and East comes back with a spade. West reverses by bidding two hearts, and West looks at her hand and thinks, I really don't want my partner to get overexcited. She's got fewer than eight points, so she starts by bidding the two no trumps Levin Sol. And West, who's got a normal reversing hand, not a monster reversing hand, bids three clubs. Then, when East comes back in and bids three diamonds as a suit preference for diamonds, West knows that her partner has got fewer than 8 points and is showing a suit preference for diamonds. West passes, and they've landed in a safe place. Compare that hand with this next hand here. In this hand, North opens a diamond, and South bids a spade. North reverses by bidding two hearts, and here South wants to show a positive response. He's got 9 points, so by actually showing preference for diamonds here, He's showing a positive response by not bidding that two no trumps Levin Sol bid. He bids three diamonds. When North hears this bid of three diamonds, the positive response, she knows what to do with the contract. She knows her partner has got eight or more points. She likes her club stopper. And she decides that three no trumps will be a good contract. The beauty of her partner not using Levin Sol when Levin Sol is available is that North now knows that there are enough points between the two hands to make those nine tricks needed in no trumps. In summary, reverses are forcing. If your partner makes a reverse, you can show a positive response by making a bid at the three level. If you have a weak hand with fewer than eight points, you do not want to make a positive response. You can either bid your own long suit at the two level, if you have that option available to you, or you can bid two no trumps Levin Sol. With any normal reversing hand of between 16 to 18 points, the opener will bid three clubs after this Levin Sol bid. Bidding clubs says nothing at all about clubs. 
It simply says, I'm not a monster reversing hand, I'm a normal reversing hand, and it's waiting to hear what partner says next. Don't forget that the inference of not using lev and sol and making a bid at the three level means that you do have a positive response, so that you do have eight points or more, and you are now both going to game.